Hey guys, I'm Jay Brooks. You guys might remember me from the Janoskians. Some of you guys might think, well, Jay, you've aged a bit. But yeah, I'm actually almost 25. So uh, yeah, there's a bit, a bit of wrinkles showing up. Anyway, welcome to my art channel. This is the first video. A lot of you guys have asked me to show time lapses on my paintings. So I thought, you know what? Why not uh, put the boots back on and go into YouTube? That's like a boots? sport reference, you know? When you retire, you hang up the boots. So now I'm back on YouTube showcasing my art. And um, yeah, it should be interesting to see how uh, the process goes with me doing it. Normally it's about, it could be 12 to 20 hours of painting and it's all sped up. It'll be about 10 minutes of painting. So as you can see, well, you can't see much, but this is my studio where I paint. Um, and this right here is my finished product painting of the video you're about to see. And it's for a girl who requested Scooby-Doo. Her name is KC, KC. I don't know if it's initials or her name's KC. But, <laughs> oh. But yeah, she requested this for a commission piece. So I've done that and I'm about to show you. And uh, also in this channel is Luke, who's gonna edit the videos and pretty much produce them because I don't know anything about cameras or editing. Also in the background of the videos, I'm gonna get Luke to read some Reddit posts some interesting reddit posts like it could be controversial or just to make the video a bit more interesting while you're watching it uh, i think that could be really cool also this year my goal is to paint over 150 paintings i've already done 34 this is my 34th painting i've done um, so that means every second day mostly every second day there's going to be a new video of painting out so it looks got a lot of editing to do so stay tuned for that Remember, that's over 150, which is over 12 a month. So it's a lot of painting. Um, because this channel is brand new, I think it needs over a thousand subs and how many watch hours? 4,000 4, watch hours to be monetized, which means at the start, there, I can't monetize the videos. So one way you can support me is by subscribing to me on Patreon. It's only $5 a month or the higher package is $10 a month. But yeah, that would be a big uh, help in supporting the channel in its early days yeah i hope you guys enjoy the videos and enjoy the channel and remember there's a lot of content to come so subscribe also um it's not just luke featuring on this channel as you could see wow as you <laughs> as you can see this guy's gonna feature on it a lot and you're gonna see how much he annoys me while i'm painting how much he harasses me and then every now and then he'll come and sit on my lap and give me a cuddle so he's also my business partner on this channel. He's, he's an aggressive business partner. Isn't that right? All right, enjoy the videos, subscribe, and don't share with your friends because they won't care about a painting video. Hey guys, Luke here. So as you can tell, I've been dragged into um, commentating throughout the video wasn't planning on doing this actually and jay kind of just made it up on the spot so i guess here i am talking over jay's video yeah i guess if him painting isn't entertaining enough well here's my voice soothing voice to get you through this 10 minute video so apparently what i'm gonna do according to jay is read some interesting reddit discussions now i found a facebook page where they post interesting reddit discussions so i'm gonna read off there now I'll probably be covering all topics, but today I'm going to be starting with um, Am I the Asshole, which is a whole subreddit forum dedicated to people asking other people's opinions on whether they're the asshole or not. Basically, am I in the wrong or was I in the right? So I'm going to start it here with Am I the Asshole for punishing my daughter for not coming to my wedding? I got married last weekend in my parents' house, which has been in the family for generations. For health reasons, only immediate family was there. Guessing maybe the coronavirus? My daughter, 16 female, had been calling her new stepmom, 21 female, names like homewrecker and prostitute, and I've been patient with her. She assumes I left her late mother because she had breast cancer. However, I did not leave her mother for having cancer. Nobody decides to have cancer. However, her late mother kept using her illness to devalue me and my sense of identity. She'd criticize the way I was taking care of her and even stuff like my hygiene or the clone I was wearing. She made me feel worthless and I felt like 
she was projecting her own insecurities by saying the smell of my clone was disgusting because she never made an effort to keep herself up and despite the fact that I objectively found her disgusting sometimes, I stuck her by her until my self esteem was destroyed. Yet yeah, I'd go home and she'd criticize and nag about every ounce of my being. I met a stepmom when I was in a dark place. She made me feel like I could be myself again. My wife made me feel unattractive and sexless and with my new wife, I felt alive. Just the fact that she appreciated me and felt physical chemistry with me made me want to do anything for her and want to provide for her. That's when I decided not to bullshit my wife anymore and file for divorce. Since then, my daughter's relatives from her mum's side have been poisoning her against me. Last weekend, when I and her stepmom went to the site of the wedding early, we expected to see her drive to the wedding later, but instead she ended up going to stay with her aunt. Everybody asked where she was and there was chaos from my side of the family locating her. As punishment, I took her car and her allowance away and I've taken her phone away until I feel like she can learn to be respectful towards someone I very much love and that it will be impossible for her to do that if she keeps having to hear from her late mom's side of the family. My parents have called and said that I was being too harsh. However, even when things are tough, I feel I cannot let a child of mine believe they can do just whatever they want. So, having said all that, am I the asshole? Well, here comes my stupid, irrelevant, useless opinion. So first of all, um, wow, you're 50 years old and you're marrying a 21 year old. Pretty impressive but so close to your daughter's age. So how the fuck is your daughter going to accept her as a stepmom? Not only she didn't raise your daughter, but she's practically a sister. So she's definitely going to have no authority over your daughter whatsoever. Definitely not in a mum type of way. In terms of her America, well, you did kind of cheat on your wife with her. So I guess she does fall into the category of a homewrecker. Yeah, I guess you're just as much as a homewrecker as her. So I can understand the resentment your daughter has towards her and yourself. Now she's 16 and you got her a phone, allowance and a car. You're using these material objects against her. Yeah, you did spoil her. I wish my mummy bought me a car. But the way you're using it against her is a bit asshole-ish. You didn't come to my wedding, so you're not getting these gifts. I don't know, I reckon you kind of are the asshole, forcing her to be happy with the wedding. Now, I'm not a father myself. Well, not that I know of. Touch wood. But you should show a greater understanding for your daughter, especially at a tough age like 16. A very tough age for a young girl, I would know. I used to be a girl myself. You can't just force her to be happy with the situation. And hey... The new wife probably is a gold digger. I mean, she's 21 dating a 50 year old. Do you honestly think she likes you other than what you have in your wallet? I assume you might be well off buying your daughter cars and shit. Even though it's legal, like, it's still pretty much your daughter's sister. So keep that in mind. So yeah, to sum it up, are you the asshole? Well, let's see. Um, you cheated on your wife who's dying with cancer with a 21 year old old enough to be your daughter's sister and then you punished your daughter for not agreeing or accepting the relationship and you took away her somewhat essentials hmm yeah i'd say you probably are the asshole mate you should take a hard look at the actions you've done and the upset you've caused having said that this is your chance to show your daughter hopefully your new wife is loving and in it for the right reasons and this is a chance to show your daughter you are understanding of her are you a bad person? I don't know you well enough to decide on that, but yeah, I just think you've gone about things the wrong way, and that's my opinion, but what the fuck would I know? Anyway, guys, thanks for listening. Enjoy the rest of Jay's painting. This is a bit of an interesting twist in the video. Uh, if you guys are into it, let me know. If you think I should uh, create a separate uh, series doing this, also let me know if you think they work well together let me know and if you don't like it just put it on fucking mute and look at jay paint thanks guys talk to you later